Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's 95X Cares, our community animal rescue effort brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar. I am Dixon, and also on screen is our good friend, Jenny. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Very, very good. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another dog. I wish I could adopt and make friends with Mr. Wiggles because Ziggy looks like he is a blast. <laughs> I'm a... Uh personally obsessed with this dog i really wish that he got along with smaller dogs and animals etc because uh i have no doubt that this would be one i'd be pressing to get inside my home <laughs> yes yeah, he he's is perfect good looking dog like talk about like white with markings like perfect sort of like old school little rascals type dog um a big fan. Like a really strong look to him like he's very stoic and i think and uh he's just he's a fantastic dog all of the volunteers and fosters who have met him with recyclable are absolutely in love with him uh they are all dumbfounded that he hasn't been able to find his forever home yet uh like i said he's just one of those dogs who doesn't want smaller animals in the house if it's a bigger dog with him then that should be fine obviously a meet and greet is going to be appropriate just to make sure that they are they jive. Uh, the other thing that they are saying for him is that he is a very bouncy dog. Uh, he can easily clear small fences. So they're ideally looking for a home uh, with a taller fence. Uh, but if you are a family who you're like, listen, I don't have a fence, but I'm obsessed with this dog, have the conversation because if you are a responsible dog owner, you still could be considered for this dog. But the ideal home is going to have a fence that's taller than five feet because uh, Ziggy can clear it. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's got some serious ups. Um, and he's young <laughs> in probably that two or three range, right? It's kind yeah, of yeah. What we're thinking because you you can definitely tell that he is not an older dog by any stretch of the imagination. No, he's still got that spring in his step. <laughs> yeah, and that look on his face that he's going to keep you very active and very busy, and uh, uh, and it's a perfect name. It is. I, I just think that everything about this dog is perfect. And I just hope that he is one that goes quickly because I believe he's been waiting for quite some time already. And uh, the weather is getting nicer. People are getting back outdoors. So if this is something that you have been considering doing, uh, make sure that you get Ziggy on your radar. Reach out to them. Learn a little bit more. Maybe set up that meet and greet to make sure that it's going to be an appropriate fit. Uh, but if you're listening to this and you're like, I saw the pictures. I love him. Go and put that application in because the sooner that that application gets processed, the sooner you're in line. Uh, because if you already have an application that's been processed for them, you could just call them and be like, I saw Ziggy and he's the one. Yeah, Recyclable is where Ziggy is hanging out. Fill out that application. Their information is like right there-ish. There, there we go. <laughs> yeah, right in that general vicinity is where you will find recyclable get the application in and even if things don't work out for ziggy you're already pre-approved on the list and if you happen to see uh another adoptable pop-up that you're interested in well you've already knocked out step one and you can go right to the going and meeting the dog phase of the adoption process which is always my favorite absolutely and i i feel like it's a, a worthy plug to put in right now that we have some really nice weather coming up and with nice weather comes like everybody's peace of mind about fleas and ticks. And while uh, those of us who maybe are a little bit more delved into this world know that the ticks don't go away even in the winter, uh, they certainly ramp up more in that springtime, summer, fall, et cetera. So our friends at all different rescues, but certainly recyclable as well, uh, could use those flea and tick collars. So if you're like, listen, I'm not in the neighborhood for a dog right now. That's not what I'm up for. But you are capable of donating one of those. That makes a huge, 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 huge difference. Or call your Humane CMI, your CMI SPCA, your BNR Bunkhouse, whatever shelter or organization that's near and dear to your heart. Ask them if that's something that would help them. And you can go on like Chewy and send one over. Or you can go to... Your, even your local pet smart pet supply, whatever it is, Dog Days is a great shop. Uh, call them up, send one over because it, it makes a huge difference, especially when uh, those are something that we have to start looking out for again. 
Yeah, and I'm not one to plug Bezos in any way, but they are super cheap on Amazon. And there's also the assurance of Amazon delivery. And you can already put orders in for different addresses and the process yep. is easy. So that being said, shop local first. If you have a hard time finding a place where you can get those features, where you can buy it from the comfort of your home and have them shipped to the uh, rescue of your choice, there is the Amazon option and prices are probably right in line. So uh, just be aware of all that and whatever you have give. And if you're lazy and just have money, you can just give them your money too. Donations are always accepted. And then they go they through are, things like this. Yeah, absolutely. Especially because this is a time of year too, that we're going to find lots of strays and people who are like, unfortunately opening their front door and kicking their pets out. And uh, that means that there's going to be even more pets in the shelters and at these rescues. And so if we want them to be able to help out more, we got to help them and uh, support our community in doing so. Absolutely. Well, Ziggy is up for adoption now from Recyclable. Get the information from the screen right below uh, our wonderful glowing faces. And we will be back uh, next week with another adoptable pet, courtesy of this one over here. Jenny, thank you so much for taking the time to do this today. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I will see you next week. Absolutely. I'll see you then. All right. This has been 95X Cares. It's our community animal rescue effort, and it's brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar for 95X.